Hey, what is up you guys? Welcome back. We finally have the fourth episode of investing till I can afford to buy a car series. And let me tell you, these past three weeks have been the most profitable by far. In the three weeks that I summarized in the last episode, we got about 60 euros profit in real money. This time around, it's gonna be times bigger than that, I promise. In this series though, I'm putting in practice everything I know in order to prove that the things that I talk about aren't just empty words, but are indeed effective and achievable. Also, this series is a nice way to get the interest of people that don't even know about the possibility of making money with skins. And a third benefit is that the goal is to buy a car. Not 100% sure when it's gonna happen, but I'm fairly confident it will happen in the next year, as I might have to move to another country and owning a car at that moment is kind of a liability. So probably I should just wait till I move and then buy the car. Anyway, last update, I said that as soon as we hit 200 likes, I will start making this update, and that's exactly when I started. This time, let's up the stakes a little bit, and let's get to 250 likes. Alright, enjoy. We're gonna start with the smaller profits and then finish with the bigger one. First up is going to be the method of flipping good deals. This one, as I mentioned last week, is very time consuming, because you have to find and place buyers for tens, even hundreds of items if you want to do this properly. You also have to be very competitive with this, you have to go back to those buy orders and make sure no one placed anything on top of yours. This strategy generally applies to items that have a big gap between sell orders and buy orders, so that you can squeeze your way in and still get a big percentage of profit. Whenever you do manage to get those items, the work doesn't end. You still have to be competitive and regularly check upon them to make sure that you're still selling the cheapest and then make the decision whether you want to lower or hold the item at that price depending on what your competition has chosen. As you can tell, this requires a lot of work. This used to be one of my main profit methods, getting up to 30 euros profit a week, but not anymore because I just decided to cut this method out of my circulation. I just don't have the time, plus I discovered newer and better methods. Still, I had some sales and I barely broke even. I took a few big losses, which just overrode the profit entirely. I will come back to this method at some point, but for a time I will stay away from it. The next method would be placing super low buy orders on items with big sale quantities and waiting for them to come through. This one is the easiest profit method on the Steam community market entirely. Generally, there is not that much work required. The more money you have, the less you have to work, really, but if you don't have a lot of money, you're gonna have to work your way up. You basically only have to place buyers and then you will be getting those items for months, which you don't even need to sell right away, you can just sell them once a week when they have all piled up. I can actually show you an example right here. This item, I have 196 buy orders for 21 cent, but you can see that the price is much higher than that. At the top it's reaching 28, 29 cent, but at the bottom it's about 24, 25. Still, it doesn't reach 21 cent. But occasionally, you see this number right here, it goes for 21, and that's when I get the item. And that's only because amongst all of these people right here, I was the first one to place the butter at 21. Everyone who placed it higher than me, they placed it later than me, so I will be getting all the items at 21. And that's just a good way to profit. And really, I have a ton of items like that. I have from Dota 2, from Rust, and it's quite a bunch of items. This strategy does involve a lot of waiting, but it has massive ROI, plus it can be scaled to big heights as there are hundreds if not thousands of items like this. This right here is the full table of items that I sold to get a total of 4.4 euros profit. I spent 31 euros to get this, so I had a 14% ROI. And I didn't need to have the money up front, I could have just sold the items as soon as I got them. But I did have the money up front, so I really didn't worry about selling fast anyway. This of course will not be the fastest method, but it doesn't hurt to have it going on the side and earn some money for a beer or two once in a while if that's what you want to spend your money on. Personally, I don't really spend any of the money I earn unless I have to, I just reinvest 100% of the profit for now. Next up is Rust Flipping, which in the previous update I promised to scale up a lot and I kind of did, I bought a lot more items but most of them haven't sold yet. Mostly because they have only recently entered my inventory and you know, I gotta wait 7 days to be able to sell these items again. This time I've done a lot of combining, for example Rust Flipping with a low buy order method. So right now I have a lot of buy orders that are waiting around to catch items, when they do, those items will bring me a decent profit. For now 
now I'm left with a lot of rust items, but till the next update, I think they're all gonna be gone. Actually, a lot of the items I buy with this method are such good deals that I just sell them on Skinport for cash, which basically allows me to convert Steam money into cash by only losing like 12%. I made an entire video about that actually, and this little thing I do is part of my main profit method, which I'm gonna show at the end of the video. This time, Rust items brought me barely over 2 euros, but just like the previous method, this one doesn't require much work, so that's why I continued doing it. The ROI for this method was about 22% which is pretty high but when we consider that the profit was low then it doesn't really matter. Next up is stock investing. Last update we were down 27 cent and now we're down 67 cent. I didn't do much with stocks this past 3 weeks so there is not much important to say. I did however add another 10 euros to my portfolio so now we're sitting at almost 70 euros. For now the goal of me investing in stocks isn't to make the most money but instead to get experience and kind of have an alternative to keeping the money in my bank account. I still have the one Coca-Cola stock that I got in the beginning of August and I'm gonna keep it till they pay us the 3% dividend because I just wanna see how that's gonna happen. Another 20 euros is sitting in Neo stock for now. I initially had 10 but decided to buy another 10 after it dropped the by 3% yesterday. The total profit from stock investing turned out to be minus 40 cent this time. And now on to the big profit, which comes from buying slash selling skins for cash. And for that specifically, I am using Skimport. Most of the time I just resort to CSGO skins, but a lot of the time I'm gonna buy Rust skins if they're profitable or Dota 2 skins, but that happens very rarely, but still it happens. And TIF2 is kinda, kinda dry. On this page you can see my selling stats, you can see that recently I had a lot of sales, right? This 2000 euros in sales happened, most of it happened in the last three weeks. <laughs> so that's why I'm saying that the profit is gonna be big because a lot of it happened in the last three weeks, the same as with buying. Okay, now let's dive into the profit. The last update was on 24th of August, so we're gonna count it from here. We got one week till 1 September and then two more weeks. If you don't know what the colors mean, just pause and read the legend real quick. Here you can see that I deposited 193 euros, I got 277 steam euros for that and that turned into 221 real euros and that yields a profit of 28.75. Also the red ones is items I bought for cash, sold them for cash, so it's just a subtraction, it's also 26 euros. And that was just the last week of August, which is pretty good. Here you're gonna notice that the numbers don't quite match up because I only deposited enough to get 157 euros on steam but I spent 441 and I can do that because I had other money on Steam, right? I didn't just start depositing, I already had a few hundred ready and that's why I can do this. But I'm already working on getting more Steam funds. For example, I have these two knives right here and I have these three weapons selling and that's probably gonna be enough to bump this to 400 euros and then the numbers are gonna match up again. But the profit I calculated based on the percentage, not the actual money spent. So that's how I know how much I profited from these sales. And under this we have a lot of red sales, a lot, a lot of them. And you can see that the dark green ones, the ones that are very lucky, they happen rarely actually. Usually it's under 10% actually and the average is 8% profit. So I had to spend 1006 euros to get 76 euros profit. I think that's pretty good. It's not it's not bad at all considering this this was 2 weeks. So I think that's pretty good. <laughs> Here you can see the total profit from this method in the last 3 weeks, which is 202 euros. Okay, so let me just show you an example of how I find profitable items because I'm sure somebody is gonna find it useful. First I just open the CSGO market on Skimport, I go over here and input starting from 2 because that's from what I buy and let's say I have a budget of 50 euros. I put that in there, I also sorted by highest discount that's normal and then you just start looking through items usually if it's a Doppler or it's a case hardener rank something you shouldn't pay attention to it especially if you don't know what you're doing I guess if you do know what you're doing then you could take a look at it sometimes you can find profitable ones especially if the discount is high but otherwise even the souvenirs you shouldn't look at them unless it's a very big discount that's that's the deal usually and then you just open the items whatever you like, for example let's say we open this one. It's an MP7 fade, it's middleware, very good float, it's about 450, but we take a look at the graph 
and it sells up to 7 euros sometimes. And the fact that it's got a full stack of stickers, a very good float, that means that uh, we're gonna be able to sell it much quicker than other people, even if it's the same price. But then we have to take a look at a couple of other things, like for example, we should search the item in the search bar, click on minimal wear only, and we see that there's three of them. This is the one right here for 450, there is 680, 699. So let's say we sell ours for 679. Let's just go to a random item in my inventory. Let's input 679. It says we're gonna get 598. We go back to the item, 598, that's a profit of almost 150. So that means we can make a 30% profit buying for cash, selling for cash. That's insanely good. If you looked at my table, you can see that the dark green is barely possible. And uh, that's 30%, that's dark green. So that's a really good item to buy. If I had the funds right now, I would buy it. But unfortunately, I spent everything and I'm waiting for Monday to get uh, some funds back. All right, now let's create another checkpoint and calculate how much my inventory is worth. I have around 466 real euros worth of Steam items and then I also have around 700 real euros worth of skin port items. In total that comes up to almost 1160. As a reference, at the last update my inventory was worth 1000 euros. I know this looks kind of weird, I had a profit of over 200 but my inventory only went up by 160 and that's because I spent some of this money to pay my insurance which was 36 euros and also I spent about 20 euros on the previous gift. Away. So that also subtracted from the profit. For the next weeks I will be doing pretty much the same, but I'll have more money so I'll be able to make even more profit. I'm gonna try to pay attention to what items I buy more carefully so that I get only the best deals because I don't really have that much money to be buying everything and uh, sometimes I would just give up on waiting for good items and just buy anything that was profitable. That might not be the best decision for me at this moment, but in the future that might be an option. Though that is pretty much it, I hope I managed to inspire somehow somebody, maybe you wanna start doing stuff like this as well, if not then you can just watch <laughs> me do it and have fun that way. But yeah, if you want to support me then make sure to smash the like button because that's the best way you can support me really. And uh, join our Discord server, follow me on Twitch, I stream there. I I try to do it twice a week but recently I had a lot more trouble getting to stream because of lectures and stuff like that but yeah I hope I'll see you there soon and until next time bye bye